I'm Evelyn Dunphy, and I'm at the National Resource Council of the Maine presentation for um, the People's Choice winner and for other environmental winners at their annual meeting. So lucky that we have so much wilderness, gorgeous areas in Maine, and I, I am thrilled beyond words to be part of that and to, and to be to be a part of a group of people like this is, is more than I ever dreamed of. I, I couldn't be more pleased. This year's People's Choice Award race was bigger than ever. This category gives our members the chance to acknowledge a person in the community who's making a difference for our beautiful state. Two of our finalists each, each received more votes than all of the votes cast last year. And Evelyn really, really uh, was a star among, among, uh, among the contestants. Uh, Evelyn Dunphy, standing here beside me, is the 2009 People's Choice Award winner. She's unique among our past People's Choice Award winners and perhaps among all of our past nominations because she's not only a strong activist, but she's also a celebrated artist. We are fortunate that Evelyn has decided to de dedicate her talent as an artist to highlighting the beauty and the special quality of Maine's wilderness areas. Not only does she help bring awareness to these natural treasures and to our need to protect them, she shows us with her artist eye and talent why we must. Over and over again, we heard from those who voted for her about how much her artistic advocacy made a difference for one issue in particular, Katahdin Lake. An innovative agreement among landowners, state agencies, and wilderness advocates led to the acquisition of 4,000 acres around the lake, including the last remaining parcel and Governor Percival Baxter's vision for Baxter State Park. I can say without hesitation that Evelyn is a remarkable human being who served as a bridge between the artist community and the land conservation community. Her heart, commitment, and creativity were the critical ingredient to the successful completion of that campaign, and Maine is indeed lucky to have her as an artistic ambassador for land conservation. Evelyn was selected to be the first Baxter State Park visiting artist, and her stunning interpretations of Maine's wild landscapes have received numerous awards, have been featured in juried exhibitions and magazines, and hang in congressional and state office buildings. Evelyn has now turned her eye to Moosehead Lake, and we could not be more excited. In the words of another of her supporters, quote, through her work, her enthusiasm, and her energy, Evelyn has moved mountains. We trust that she will move many more, and it is my honor, on behalf of the Natural Resources Council of Maine, to present this 2009 People's Choice Environmental Award. When I came uh, back from Baxter State Park to doing a residency in August, I have found to my absolute shock that I was a finalist for the People's Choice Award. I had an email from one of my 13-year-old granddaughters who said, you know, Graham, that People's Choice thingamabobber? Well, I voted for you. And I thought, oh, that is just wonderful. So then, you know, a few weeks later when the results were in and to our, all of our amazement, we found out that we I actually had won. I called her right up and I said, Molly, you know that uh, that uh, People's Choice, if you voted for me, we won. And there was a long silence, and then she said, Grant, do you mean my vote counted? And for me, that really was the total meaning of the whole thing. I thought that's what we all need to believe, that our vote does count. And out of the mouths of children, they really, she really nailed it. I, I thought it was absolutely perfect.